Deciding to come to Or Sameach last year was one of the most difficult decisions of my life. And I was here when they first broke ground. My foundation for growth is being solidified here. Right here, where I'm sitting right now, is where the new center based marriage is going to be. The new complex will house three of the many programs of Al Sameach Beis Medesh program, Center program, and the Derch program. Each program will have its own separate Beit Midrash with the option of opening it up to one big Beit Midrash for all yeshiva events. And we wanted that this should be a beautiful complex competing with the university campuses around the world. I remember a time when they were first doing the uh, original construction and digging into the, into the land and the Rosh Hashiva was giving a schmooze um, up at the front and I remember sort of as he was speaking the construction was going on in the back and there was this, I felt this feeling in the base medrash of there's a little bit of a disruption but at the end of the day what it's really for is for a, a beautiful purpose. The way I would describe my experience in Derech or Sameach, it's, it's a comfortable, uncomfortable. You're put in a position where you're able to succeed and grow as much as possible and gain clarity in your life. Sometimes you have to build a building in order to build people. When you see something growing from the ground up and all the little steps in it, you can really appreciate all the details. And in a way, I guess this is the story of Orsamech as well, because you've been building not just a, a physical building, but also you've been building people's lives up from the ground up. And this is the opportunity to say a big thank you, a big yeshakarach to the Tannenbaum Legacy Foundation, Reb Yaakov Kaplan, Reb Jack Feintoch, Reb Ari Lubavik. They're involved in every detail of this project. Reb Yaakov Kaplan and Jack are hands-on supervising this project from day one. We don't go by the natural laws. Our forefathers weren't born in the natural way, and the whole Jewish people is founded on a concept of the Malam and Atefa. So it makes sense in a way, when you think about it, that it's possible to do the impossible, because the Yerubani of Shem has no good knowing. After all the consultants and all the architects and all the trades leave, and we have this beautiful building. It's not really a base medrash. It only becomes a base medrash when we hear the voices of your Limud Hatoro. I can't wait to see how this new base medrash is going to turn out. I'm really excited. Having seen this building being built from the ground up, I really, really hope I'll get the opportunity to come back and learn in this base medrash when it's full of Talmudim and life and the words of Torah being echoed around the building. Seeing that the process of the construction is almost finished, I'm extremely excited to almost have an opportunity to come and finally learn in the new base medrash. Sometimes you have to build a building in order to build people.